Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be implementing gradient descent and the code is going to be quite short so I thought I would start with spending quite a lot of time uh, figuring out how this formula works exactly so first we we know from last video that H will be a 97 by 1 uh, vector which will be h1 h2 and so on and y which will be so h will be our predicted value uh, given for our current theta given x so h theta of x and y will be the the accurate value So it will also be 97 by 1 vector. And then we also have uh, x, which will be x feature 0, which will be a vector, and x feature 1, which will also be a vector. And so this can be written as x feature 0, training example 1, and then x feature 0, training example 2, and x feature 1, training example 1, x feature 1, training example 2, and so on. And x will be a 97 by 2 vector. So, let's try by figuring out how the formula will work for our first value of theta. So, for our first feature theta, our first value of theta, which will be theta 0, equal to theta 0, minus alpha over m and then it will take h of 1 minus so our, our, our predicted value minus the accurate value And then it will take that times x feature 0 because we have theta 0. So we will have x feature 0 training example 1, feature 0 training example 1. And then we will have a sum of all those values. So we will continue to have plus as this sum h2 minus y2 times x feature 0 training example 2 and that will continue for all of our uh, for all of our values for x feature 0 and so this will just be a number so if we try to so you can implement this in a for loop and this is what it will calculate and we can also implement this in a vectorized uh, code which will be a lot more effective so we can try to theta 0 to be equal to theta 0 minus alpha over m And then times uh, h minus y because since h is a 97 by 1 and y is a 97 by 1 vector we can subtract those two and this will be a 97 by 1 and then take that uh, so matrix multiplication x 
feature zero, which will, which will be a 97 by one vector. So th this won't work since the dimensions don't match. So what we have to do in this case, since we want this to be just a number, similarly to how this, this sum will be just a number. So what we have to do is take h minus y transpose. What that will give is a 1 by 97. So when we multiply these two, these two will cancel and all that's left is a 1 by 1. So just a number. So now let's try to figure out how we can do this instead of iterating over all of our features let's try to make a uh, a more a even better vectorized code that uh, calculates all theta features instantly so theta 0 theta 1 etc so how we can do that is by calculating theta as theta minus alpha over m and then similarly take h minus y transpose and then times x so what this gives this will be a 1 by 97 and x will be a 97 by 2 so this will be a 1 by 2 vector. So that will be theta 0, comma, theta 1. And now we're almost finished. We just have to do one more thing, which will be to uh, change the, the theta, uh, the theta um, dimensions since it's initialized as a 2 by 1 vector. So what we have is a 1 by 2 vector. So we need to make this into a 2 by 1 vector. And how we can do that is by simply taking this transpose. And that will give us a 2 by 1. So this will be a 2 by 1. And this will be a 2 by 1, which means that we can subtract them. So this is the formula that we've come up with right there. So let's go to our gradient descent. And let's take h minus y. Um, actually, first we need to calculate h, which is x times theta, as we saw in the last video. And then we will take that h minus y. And so theta will be equal to theta minus alpha over m times h minus y transpose to make it a 1 by 97 times x. So that will give us a 1 by 2 vector. And the only thing we need to change now is to make this a 2 by 1 so that we can subtract theta minus this. And that should be our code. And so you might be wondering, I thought that this would be a vectorized uh, code. So what this for loop and this for loop will will be how many iterations gradient descent will run. So how many times will theta be updated to hopefully converge to the global minimum? So let's try to run this now and see if we get correct values. And so our gradient descent function seems to find the same as the expected theta values, which means that we have implemented gradient descent correctly. So 
Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.